Welcome to the forest. Forest. <laughs> this is another membership video. Just a thank you guys again. Just really wanted to uh, really try to do some more membership videos just for you guys that uh, uh, really support us. And uh, today we are going to be eating some Sisig. That's right. And it comes from Sisig Express. His favorite. My favorite. <laughs> We've been eating sisig for three consecu consecutive days. <laughs> oh no! Don't listen to her. <laughs> uh, all right, so, um, Supposedly the best Seasig is Seasig Hooray. Now we had that earlier and um, I don't know. I really didn't like it compared to the Seasig that I got um, a while back at Seasig Express. So I thought that we would kind of do a back-to-back -back comparison. So I had it earlier, the Seasig Hooray, and I was kind of, eh. Now she loves it, but we're going to try this Seasig Express and um, also, I'm going to do something that I have never done before and don't usually do because it's, uh, it's a rarity for me to actually drink. I don't know if you can show that. <laughs> but I am going to give this a try. This is, uh, this is root beer. And it is not any type of alcoholic beverage for you YouTube sensors. But uh, I've heard that this root beer, this soft drink, is uh, lethal. So uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a try and uh, see if uh, uh, what one of these does to my Norse Irish blood. <laughs> Check out this seasick. <laughs> mm, Filipina girl wants her seasig. Let's bring. Okay. Alrighty, so get some rice in here. I have already put my little calamansi on it <laughs> so I can jazz it up. A little rice. I'm gonna give her a try. Oh my gosh, that is so much better than the other one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just taste the difference. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you think it tastes better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you, Seasig Express is I the think, best. I it, think last time. Seasig Express is better than Seasig Hooray. Hands down. I think last time. I have not tried this one. See, because like express? Oh, yeah, because you gave me the Hungarian sausage. No, you had some seasick because I put it on your... Over the rice, but it yes. was a bit dry because oh. I eat late. Oh, you did eat a little bit late. Mm. Yeah, so a thousand times better. I'm telling you, it's, it's way better. Alrighty. We're going to pop the top on this crazy thing. Oh, there we go. And give it a try with the uh, C-Sig. Smells like a light colored beer. I can't tell what color it is. So, I am not much of a drinker. <clears throat> but I have in the past, of course, drank beers, so. Now, if somebody were to, if I were to purchase a beer, um, it would be Guinness. And uh, I like that really dark beer, that Irish beer, but uh, I don't know. All right, let's try it.
everybody says that this is lethal. And um, I got to tell you, that's uh, that's actually really good. It's got a bitter flavor to it, that bitter kind of texture that I like in a beer. Um, so it's not... That is not what I expected. I expected this to be some sort of hit you in the back of the throat, really just, you know, tear your taste bud out type of thing with the way everybody talks about, oh my gosh, Red Horse, it'll, you know, you know, ah ha! But, but then again, I guess I have to think that most, most people that talk about this and videos that I watch, they're expats. So they're used to drinking water beer um like um like bud light <laughs>